so this is the second part of our math lesson for today. So you should have already done the solve and share in the first video. And now we're going to watch our visual learning. So this is the visual learning that we would normally watch in class. Um, so I want you to uh, just pay attention while we watch this and just kind of think about what the, the visual learning is talking to you about. Um, you can certainly get out a whiteboard and do the um, work along with the visual learning if you would like to. Okay, let's watch together. When you use this way to add, you need to use repeated reasoning. What numbers are being added? Why are the digits lined up in this way? 235 and 489 are being added. The digits are lined up by place value, hundreds, tens, ones. What does it mean to use repeated reasoning? When you use repeated reasoning, you use the same reasoning again and again. How can you use repeated reasoning? You can use what you know, look for things that repeat, and check your work as you add each place. Think about what you know about adding numbers like these. How can you find what repeats as you add the digits in each place value? Okay, so I'm going to give you guys a minute to write this problem down um, and then just think about um, when he's saying repeating, thinking about are you regrouping in both places or just in one place? So I'll give you just a little bit to kind of explore that problem. You can think about what you do when you add the digits in the first place value. And then you can see if you do any of those same things when you add the digits in the other place values. When you add these numbers, you add each place from right to left and decide if you need to regroup to make a 10 or a 100. When you add from right to left, what is the order in which you are adding the place values? Select your answer. Okay, so I'm going to give you a minute to think about this, thinking about how we always start over here on the right side when we're using the stack it up method. And I see that this one would make the most sense because it's ones, tens, and then the hundreds last. Okay, so now I'm going to show you your practice for today. So you are going to um, get out a piece of paper and you're going to use this page of Envision for your problems for today. So instead of me giving them to you, um, you're just going to use this as your practice page. Um, I do want you to look up at the top here. It says, when you use this way to add, you need to use repeated reasoning. I can use what I know, look for things that repeat, and check my work as I add each place. So really thinking about slowing down and really checking your work. So these instructions say, use repeating, repeated reasoning to solve each problem. Circle any problem where you regrouped to make a 10 or a 100. So that's what we've been practicing for the last week or so. Um, so you're going to go through and solve all six of these problems on your own piece of paper. And then I want you to go back and circle the ones where you regrouped. And you will turn this in on the same flip grid where you did your solve and share response. So we're going to use the same flip grid for all of our math today. Okay, happy solving. Nice job, guys.